Okay, so what we're going to do today is just uh, shoot a quick demo of the uh, BMW gearbox which is now coupled up to our forklift traction motor uh, with this custom steel coupler plate that I have manufactured. Uh, the plate is basically come comprised of two 12 mil steel plates and we have four 62 mil spacers here which are uh, some 60 mil uh, round stock uh, that's been uh, welded to this plate and has been uh, tapped to take an M16 bolt on this on this side here see they've got uh, four of of those get a bit of a better uh, view of that there there we go and this plate is secured to the um, front of the motor with some uh, 14 mil bolts there and the gearbox uh, this plate here has been drilled and tapped to take a um, few bolts there to hold on the gearbox bell housing so that's that's the plate and uh, shafts have been coupled with a standard cast iron jog coupler uh, we can see here and just turn the gearbox there you should be able to see that turn over and drill the little inspection hole here I don't know if you can see that too well we'll see into the gearbox there if I do this right there we go and see the clutch center spline has been uh, bolted onto the other half of the jaw coupler. You can see it turning over there. And uh, I just go ahead and do a quick demo here now with the 12 volt car battery. So it's in gear at the minute. I think it's actually in fourth gear, I couldn't be sure. Alright, go ahead now and uh, do a quick demo with this 12 volt battery here. Try and be able to let you see the, uh, the drive shaft end here when I hook up the battery. See it spinning around happily. See the motor spinning here. So there's no oil in the uh, gearbox at the minute so that's causing it to make a bit of a thumping sound as the gears turn over. That's about it folks, plain and simple. Took about two days to get this plate um, made up. It could have been done faster if I had more time to spend on it but um, well, it seems to have it seems to have came together fairly well. Um, I didn't have a ton of cash to spend on it so if I had I could have actually done this out of a single piece of um, aluminium stock or something better which could have been custom shaped uh, to both the bell housing and the front face of the uh, fork truck motor but uh, in this case I think the cheap option is just as good so that's about it 